Hello students, welcome to the Strategic Business Leader pre seen Analysis for March 2024. Now students, uh, this time they have effectively given us a company which is in the football industry. So it's a football club student. So you just need to understand that this time the industry has changed. Now before we go into the case study in detail students, I, I just want to give you a very important idea how the SBL exams are important before you go. Now, students, please have a past paper understanding because COJET has a very high connection uh, to NC Tech as well. The reason is, students, if you observe the pre seen material connection is very less nowadays, if I'm not mistaken. And the examiner has effectively made the questions very direct. And it's a trick also where the students are writing theory answers. If you have done the exam last time, the talent management question was purely like a direct theory question. But in the examiner's article or the examiner's report, it has clearly been mentioned. They expected the answer like you are reporting to NC Tech. Although the question and the exhibit was more like a theory, the application is towards the industry and the company specific. So please keep in mind as well. And one more thing, students, just to give you a glimpse of idea. Now, if you observe the technical articles is very critical because even last time the questions were connected with this. Now, if you think of a football club students, one of the important thing for a success is leadership. There needs to be motivation. There needs to be charisma so that the people in the football club are working very well. The players are doing now, students, you have to be very careful with the culture and the configuration. The cultural web is very important. There are a lot of indications there. And ethical decision making is important as well. Betting issues can be coming also. Formal betting clubs, informal betting clubs, just keep that in mind. And students coming to the governance also, as you already know, that our organization is not a listed company and Kokombe family. Clickombe family is currently governing the business and it's more like a family owned type of a football club. There may be funding requirements in the future. So we may go for an IPO or something like that. So we have to be very careful with the diversification of both the corporate governance requirement, how it is done. And the integrated reporting is a very, very important topic because examiner is always testing that and the students are not performing because they're writing the theory more than the application. So if you observe the strategy, the part C, uh, growing in partnership as usual, it's a SFA model, so many things can come. Just keep in mind, as usual last time, there were four lines of defense under risk assurance mapping. Now, this time students COSO can come and there can be other areas also. So just have an idea about the risk because risk is always a testable area in the examination. And technology and data analytics students, this is a hidden area because last time there were zero questions from this because many people were predicting that even the students were thinking cloud computing has related to the technology and data, but there was zero question. But students, if you observe the football, there can be data of the players, 100 years old established organization. We can make sure why these players are not performing well. All these things are there. And then students coming to the audit function, it is also important. And then students, if you go through the finance planning and decision making, also is an important area because last time there was zero financial analysis question so there is high chances there can be a lot of financial analysis also and enabling success and change management students if you observe a uh, project documentation is there and then students Beldrich model can come please keep in mind ico initial uh, uh, coin offer can come students to raise finance and harmon process matrix there are certain areas the organization can automate also so that the efficiency level can go up. So just keep this in mind, students. Now, students coming into the detailed ideology of this football club analysis. Now, get this very clearly. Now, if you observe in this case, now here, the football sector information, I believe here, uh, this is industry data and this is very, very, very important for the students. And students, I just want to make sure the students are very much comfortable. So I was able to collect some industry oriented terms. Now, one thing students AT, you have to remember that is the athletic trans central football club. This is very important. You can mention this in the exam as AT. 
and the name of the country is very 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 important students kailan because students they have given interest rate risk everything so there can be a situation a recession is taking place like currently in the england the europe is facing a recession especially the great britain so in that case what can a recession do for a football will people play money for that and also students the continent is very important this is the wokia if i'm not mistaken and students you have to make sure this is very clear also this wokia is also and then students the next area if this must be the kfl that is the kailan football league and then the other one is the kailan football association as well so just keep that in mind and the other one that is very important is freenia the name of our town where our football stadium is located and the final thing that you have to keep in mind is the f f a pr that is the financial if i'm not mistaken financial fair play regulation financial fair play regulation because this is a internal regulation designed by the kfa and the kfl together i think so in this case it is very important that the students are aware about it and just remember one thing students you can't get direct questions anymore from the case study because already two past papers are there but you can easily get an idea of how you can build up your commercial acumen and the skepticism skill also so students moving forward now introduction athletic trans central football club it's a football soccer club which plays in the football league of kailan a country in the continent of wokia Now, students, they are giving the country information. Can you remember? We have the Porter's Diamond Theory, students, because there can be an international expansion where our company goes to another country or another continent to start a football club. So, in that case, you have to ensure the Diamond Theory is applied because there is something called the demand condition. The club is owned by Athletic Trans Central Company, which is also owned by a family called the Clickham Bay family, students. Just remember that. later we will come into that in detail because as i told you you have to have an idea about the corporate governance because that is a very 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 important aspect the students should keep in mind a company which has a sole objective of operating a football club so their main thing is operating a football club so students there can be diversification if i am not mistaken right can you remember the ansof matrix there can be diversification so can we can go to basketball or the second le popular sports in that country in case there is a change in the trend okay the athletic trans central football club has been successful in the past winning number of trophies and increasingly struggle to compete with other leading clubs so students now if you observe these are stories can you remember the culture is a very very important part so stories symbols all these things the the trophies what they have won all these are something which cannot be imitable you can't copy that easily for simplicity the company and the club will be referred as a single entity the athletic trans central which we call as at the pre scene and the exam now students coming into the football sector information sports of football in football the results of matches are determined by the number of times a team put a goal a ball into the net of the opposition team that is the scoring goal this is the general ground rule of football students team wins the matches by scoring more goals and draw the two is the football is played by men women children now here students we have the targeting or you can say the customer segmentation or the sports segmentation because currently we never got any segmental data students so there was some old question with regards to the segmentation so please keep that in mind uh, football clubs operate as professional and recreational level so students we can go for a new avenues to create revenue and professional level players are full time employees of football clubs also so full time employees so students remember there can be change management that is resistance to change can come if i'm not mistaken so i'll write down here change management change management can come change management is one area to be keep in mind now students moving forward the professional clubs in kailan now this is the industry data because commercial acumen is very critical for the students to keep in mind most professional clubs in kailan 
run men and women's first that is they have one dedicated team which are the professionally qualified team and the reserve team the second one and the under 18 team these are the sustainable or the successor team the first team includes the club's best players the reserve team contains the players who can be called on to replace the players in the first team each team has a manager in charge of it and each team has also a coaching and a support staff also just keep in mind this is the value chain of the labor the value chain is given a long value chain depending on the club's ownership and the financial stability now five clubs have their own academics now students if you see at doesn't have we don't have a sports coaching academy so this can be an opportunity for us and as you already know you have to have an idea we can start a academic coach csr activities can come into place we can train children who are finding financial difficulties also uh, academics recruit players from the age of 9 upwards and take a structured approach of their football personal and education development ultimate aim of producing the first team players the players recruited by academics have more time to play and to be coached than players under the 18 team without academics so this is one of the weakness we have because we do not have an academic in our organization the first team players have generally moved up from other teams as the same club and have been transferred in from other clubs when players are transferred between clubs a transfer fee is payable to the club selling player by the club buying team so there is a transaction here because when you are selling the agreements between the players transfer fee for the best men players can be very large that is one thing to be considered generally you pay a very lump sum amount for the transfer fee also the most important driver of profitability for professional clubs is the performance of their men's first team in kailan football league an international competition now you get that point of view students so there is a profitability driver also based on the performance and i can write down here baldridge performance excellence model so i'll just write down here baldridge performance excellence model so just keep that in mind it is very important to have an idea about that uh, before you go to the case study examination the kailan football league has three division for clubs men's first team so effectively three divisions are there that means it's a huge country so many players and so many clubs are there means in simple language i can say kailan is a huge country maybe like united kingdom each division has 18 teams in it the league season lasts for the august to may understand it very well there are 18 teams how many team students 18 teams and it will last from august to may understand it very well august to may august to may get that point of view so it's a long long journey and you need to have a lot of stamina everything in order to do it motivational factors are important team plays each other in the league twice each season once each at each stadium so their local stadium is very essential in order to own a team teams earn 3 points for winning a match 1 point for drawing a match and no points for losing these are just basic idea to get the commercial acumen so we have to get it done at the end of each season the two teams with the fewest point will be relegated now i told you this term is very important so i'll just circle this and also students i'll just highlight this term relegated students i believe you get that point of view the term relegated from each of the division 1 and 2 of kfl and in next division down the following season now if you see in each division we have 18 teams so the 17th team and the 16th team will be relegated to the previous division like they will go for the playoff that is very important the two teams with the most points are promoted to each division 2 and 3 of kfl and play the next division up in the financial in the following season teams can also be relegated downwards for serious breaches of kfl regulation 
including financial misconduct. So students financial analysis can come and students are just to make sure uh, if, if PR that is financial fair play regulation a small calculation they have given may be to confuse the students sometimes it may not come in the exam but better to have an idea before you go teams who win a division are awarded trophy and prize teams which are promoted to the next division may benefit from increased sponsorship income from television also so the ranks are the important kpi so i'll write down here students higher the rank higher the income so you have to go with the ranking order clubs in division one of the kfl have supporters not only in kyle and also the world so you can go to the international range also if you are going in the higher order range that is one thing now these are the other factors that the students should be concerned about the domestic cup competition as well as the league all team in kfl play a domestic club competition within the kyle this consists of round off pledges between two teams randomly drawn against each other the winning progressing to the next round and the two so this is another alternative and international competition as for the top three in division one in kyle also play the woki and international league along with most successful teams in other country in wokia Playing work in international league means clubs can earn more revenue and have more games and having more matches in the international league live broadcast. So the revenue income will go higher and higher. Other teams, the women's first team and professional of professional clubs plays in Kyle and women's football league. Now students, this is very important because if you observe our club, if I'm not mistaken, the A team. Our women's team is far better than the men's team. So can I write down here benchmarking? There can be benchmarking in your examination, asking for a PPT slides, something like that. And students, the RIN model, if I'm not mistaken, can come also. Just keep that in mind. With 18 teams in each division, not all clubs have women's team. Teams in KWFL also play in domestic club competition. Reserve and under 18 teams have their own competition as well. So get that point of view very, very, very well because it is important that you have to have that idea and the understanding also of the other teams. Uh, the industry body. Now, this is very important stakeholder management. So I'll write down here stakeholder. I have to keep informed or I can say this is a keep a satisfied because their power is very high students there are high chances they can uh, suspend our organization please remember these terms like suspension because they keep satisfied high power low interest at the moment in the mandelo matrix if i'm not mistaken just keep that in mind the kfl is governed by the kailan football association the kfa enforces playing and other regulation for KFL. So understand it very well. This is KFA, BCCI, and KFL is the IPL, like that, similar to that. Other regulation includes financial fair play regulations, which will be in the page five. The KFA recommends that clubs follow generally accepted corporate governance as bad practices. So I told you students, governance is a sure question in the examination. KFA's regulation must comply with the requirement of Wokian and the world's football governing body. Just keep that in mind, students. That is very, 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 very important. Clubs income and expenditure. Uh, professional clubs main sources income are as follows. Now, if you observe in this case, prize money paid by the league based on the based on the position in which team finish their division in each season teams can also earn prize money from winning matches in domestic and woki and international league now these are the revenue stream students now i will do a strategy canvas later but just remember these are the revenue stream you earn money through prices and then you have the ticket sales as usual now students i'll write down here something called the stadium capacity if you have read this case study previously, you may know we have a stadium capacity issue at the moment and there needs some refurbishment. These are the current issues in our business. 
Other match day income includes a refreshment, letting out of hospitality boxes to friends, corporate clients, can be entertained and given food drinks before the matches. Transfer fee income from the sale of players to other clubs. Now, another question is our ranks are very poor. So are we going to sell very good reputed player to another club is a question not. Income from advertising and commercial sponsorship. So students, uh, remember the 4P, the 4P marketing model, a digital marketing students, because these are very important area. Advertisers and commercial sponsors can advertise around clubs, stadiums. In addition, commercial sponsors can have their company names shown on players' shirts and can use images of clubs' brand or players in their own marketing material. Now, here also we have an issue. We don't have a stabilized sponsorship. Some clubs are sold naming rights to commercial sponsors, so their stadiums and other facilities are named after the sponsor. Many contracts with commercial sponsors last between two to five years, students. Just understand it very well. It lasts between two to five years with contracts naming rights generally being longer. Now, students, I just want to go forward. So income from sales or merchandise. Now, if you observe in this case, now this is also another income and this can be a passive income, students, because these are the uniform, the, the jerseys what you are selling. And if you observe, we have a very, very dull jersey, the white black jersey, which is very outdated jersey. Now, there may be questions on fashion designing uh, supported or related and supported industry because fashion industry is more towards related and supported industry, right? The television is a related and a supported industry. Brand endorsement is a related and a supported industry. So keep that in mind, students, for your understanding which are primary replica shirts are in some colors and have some designs as kids in the first team wear. And then students, just to make your life very clear, fake kids and imitation. Now here we have to have risk. These are some risk students and inherent risk. We can say we can't control this because you have to understand that we can have business proposal to have our own um, uh, merchandising firms like that that can also come subsidiaries can be created and students can you please write down organizational structures can you remember students you have studied matrix structures so many organizational structures so uh, just remember that students income from hosting events other than football matches at club stadium events like music concert now we don't have that this is a weakness we don't have these things in at our football club athletic trans central club television broadcasting income Again, students, it depends on the TRP, how much the people are watching, the popularity of the team, whether people like watching that. And television channel, because some clubs own their own channel students, but we don't own. We don't own own channels at the moment. So these are the income stream. And employee salaries and benefits. Now, benefits, we have to make sure like bonuses are given for players. Are they having any other thing like winning matches? They are getting anything motivational. And employee segmentation is not given. Coaches are also employees. Support staff also employees. Now, amortization cost is a very much industry specific. Now, when you buy a player for five years, his contract will be amortized. Let's assume you played 500,000 for an employee for five years. Every year, the amortization is going to be 100,000, that is that. The stadium facilities is given, the match day cost is given, television cost if you have your own channel and the finance cost. Students, there may be financing decision. Uh, there may be a sure question, if I'm not mistaken, in the application of uh, financial analysis. Now students, this is also a very important indicator for the students in the classroom because it gives you the ideology of how things are being applied now financial fair play regulation now it's a internal performance measurement tool that is to prevent bankruptcy of a club now certain clubs can become bankrupt that is a possibility so the body tries to manage the spending considering the income level so this is the prize money, the ticket sales, the TV revenue, all these are the income and these are the salaries. Now, if you are going to buy a player for a higher cost, you have to ensure 
whether is the financial fair play regulation gets affected and students you must be very curious that in case if your losses are more than 5 million for a 3 years accumulated period you will be suspended it's a breach because you are not generating any revenue for the organization i'll just do an analysis here 25 20 70 now if i accumulate this the answer is 22 because you see here students uh, 25 minus 25 5 plus 17 is 22 and then it goes like this i'll take another pen 20 17 and 1 so 3 and 4 so see here 17 minus 20 okay it's minus 3 and again minus 1 it is minus 4 accumulation and then students you see here the green color 3 to 4 17 1 and 2 14 it is here and here 4 5 6 everything is a loss do you see the total loss is 7 it's more than 5 so the regulation is breached so your team will be relegated or suspended for your understanding it's a breach now media coverage many games in kfl division one is broadcast by live television and newspapers and social media marketing is a very very important thing in addition to increase in newspaper sales journalists are very clear to obtain exclusive stories stories not yet covered by other newspapers about clubs and the players also and then students uh, industry challenges the main challenges a club faces is for a men's first team to remain successful this means consistently achieving high league position and performing well in Kylan's domestic cup competition this is a very challenging because you have to sustain sustainability is an issue you can come first but you have to sustain that position and the work in international league to achieve success clubs makes uh, significant expenditures in buying the best players and paying high salaries which players demand clubs can have difficulties ensuring their uh, income greater in their expenditures also and we are currently facing that issue at the moment and students uh, even last time we did a risk assessment i will try to do it this time now why i am saying is again risk can come but not the same risk what is there but if you can keep your mind like water, like Bruce Lee said, you can pass this examination without any challenge. So loss of income through poor performance by the men's first team, consequent low match attendance, supporters and less prize money. Now, this is a big challenge because you have to make sure there are proper coaching staff, a cultural uh, involvement is important. Team spirit, I'll just write down here, students. One of the most successful uh, football match is a team spirit because that's very very important and essential competition from other clubs for prize money supporters commercial sponsors uh, recruiting and best player management and coaching staff problems with commercial sponsors leading to non-renewal contract a departure of key players or management of coaching staff and other clubs loss of key players through injury now these are industry oriented risk students just keep in mind and if possible, you can start doing some contingency planning, how we can make sure this is mitigated. Fall in income from television contract due to decrease in appeal of football impact, correct? And then threat of income from other business like seeking sports sponsorship, other sports entertainment events, alternative. Now, cinema is also alternative, if I'm not mistaken, students. Get this right, entertainment industry. Incurring punishment for breaching financial fair play rules, damage to the club's brand, that is another factor to be considered because the club's brand damage is very, very, very challenging to overcome once it is happened. Health and safety risk, security risk by supporters, financial risk. Now, I told you there are chances of a recession impact to the business. Now, this is a very, very important thing that students should be aware of. The stakeholders, the internal stakeholders of the football clubs include shareholders, directors, players, team management, coaching staff and other employees. Now, I told you in the exam, you should think like a shareholder, not like a player. That's the golden rule. Think like Mr. Srinivasan, the Chennai Super Kings owner, 
don't think like the ms doni you should not think like doni you should think like uh, srinivasan the retail customers the television broadcasters the commercial sponsors merchandise suppliers the police the emergency service kfl and the kfa so leading teams here you can see we are at 8 out of 16 not yet i think it's uh, 18 out of 18 we are number 8 nothing bad at the moment but we are backwards so we are not in the top 3 anymore so no more international uh, no more international support that is one thing and students uh, if you observe the attendance rate is very poor i can say due to our capacity of the stadium and revenue i think we are losing very less revenue if i am not mistaken and you can easily observe the revenue streams are effectively going up but students if you observe this sport in font we are you see some orthodox and orthodox thing 468 their uh, revenue is greater than if you observe students uh, real sosod and you see here they are very much unpredictable seven then they come to and again they come four so students there is a turn around here you have there can be a head hunting you can bring down coaches you can head hunt the good coaches to our organization ethical issues can come when you are giving money and head hunting people and then students the clubs with the top 3 teams in division 1 will be moved to new stadiums last 8 years these teams offer better facilities for supporters as well as increase capacity they're very much forward the clubs who has built new stadiums have also managed to increase their income from hiring other facilities of non football events the new stadiums have been built to maximize energy usage reduction and carbon footprint students integrated report students energy footprint everything is given emas is also there just keep that in mind innovation and sustainability all clubs are trying to use digital media strategies to enhance their income and interest in them so that is one thing clubs use their own website social media platform to post news about themselves their players and other information about the interest to the supplier the clubs of the top four team in division 1 of kfl in 23rd season have their own television and supporters pay subscription so this we don't have at the moment and these television channels available in website and also a popular platform so ott platform is there they have mentioned youtube all these things they are they are they have that paid subscription option and these are the kpis revenue player salary earnings before interest and tax relevant earnings for the financial fair play cash flow player sales and purchase capital expenditure also non financial league position average match attendance number of season club website compliance you can be skeptic here and develop some other point of view this can be an assessment for you all and coming to our company now already we have analyzed this case industry also with our company and to be honest our company is currently in a flux we can observe it the involvement level is very much less compared to what we have started Athletic Trans Central Football Club was founded in 1895. The men's first team played KFL since 1907. Stories you can keep this for stories. You can keep it for strength, the past strength in the SWOT analysis, students, because these are building the organization. Athletic Trans Central Company was set up in 1895 with sole objective of operating a football club. the clickom bay family please keep this mind very important as a controlling interest in athletic trans central co for many years athletic trans central co is not listed in the kailan uh, stock exchange so just keep that in mind so there are chances of an ipo and an ico and as i told you students uh, corporate governance can be a very very serious topic that the students should be applying not memorize anything apply that in the exam for simplicity the company and the club will be referred to a single entity athletic trans central this is already said many times at is more than enough at's traditional color is white shirt black sleeves and 
black shorts and socks so these are like the symbols if i'm not mistaken students just keep that in mind you can have logos everything so that is important anthem all these are rituals at has men's and women's first reserve team and also under 18 team there needs to be a segmentation also a quick recap students just going here now if you observe in this one revenue is they have given overall revenue just keep in mind no segmentation so that is very important for the students at has men and women's first reserve team under 18 the men's first team has been in the top for the last 60 years and has won division one six times and domestic clubs five times so these are the track record six times and five times success over the years has meant is built a strong base of supporters however the team has not won division one title or the domestic cup for the last 15 years and has not qualified for the working and international league for the last eight years so effectively eight years is a bigger number of span almost coming closer to a decade coming closer to 10 years so I can say they are facing a flux at the moment students. The women's first team was established 25 years ago. Now plays in division one of KWFL. It finished the third in division one. So they are going for the international also. The highest ever position and also won the women's domestic competition. It attracts an average attendance of 3000 per game. The reserve under 18 players in their competitors they generally attract attendance of thousands so students you have to make sure there needs to be a performance measurement on segmental analysis we have to treat the three different themes with equality there can be something like that also now students uh, this is the organization structure we are not listed so we have a chairman no information is given the non year directors are for audit but they are not giving anything with regards to the audit independence or anything like that. And students, you see the CEO is uh, Click on Bay family students. Click on Bay family representative. Now, in case if there's an IPO going students, uh, you have to have the pre-understanding. This person should step down. Keep that in mind, students. The football director, the finance director, the marketing director, the commercial director, the admin director now the football director is a very important partner the reason behind that is students he is in charge for the enterprises uh, football performance and everything the board is assisted by a company secretary who is not a director again uh, a company secretary is there who is not a director we have to identify what is the reason why there is but he's not presented here and then students one member of clickumber family is the chief executive but no other members on the board involved so these are the uh, five functional directors the football uh, team there are 125 players and 130 coaching staff and 30 uh, because it's very high if i'm not mistaken and students their qualification uh, can you remember there was a gym question the coaches didn't have qualification we have to identify the hr now students if you observe here the biggest challenge is football director is there but he may be mostly focusing on the football but hr is a big challenge now the next one students uh, the footballer is responsible for transfer policy team managers financial control and reporting oversight of financial function marketing direct digital media and oversight of it manager cyber security is not there so can i write down here there can be a cyber risk coming here so can i mention here cyber security is another issue a relation with sponsors and suppliers retail and merchandising activities administration oversight of stadium facilities management maintenance also each function is responsible for recruiting and appraising their own staff so decentralization there can be issues as well for example the first team players being appraised by the team managers the board run one committee which is only the audit committee and you have to be aware about the three committees which are the nomination committee if i'm not mistaken and then we have the remuneration committee if i'm not mistaken and we have the risk committee also which is not there at the moment the committee is staffed by non-executive directors the committee's main responsibilities are reviewing 
the financial statements, accounting and financial control and liaising with the external auditors. The information systems, AT's internal information system is adequate for the purpose. There can be cloud computing. Students, I told you this time they can transition students. Cloud computing can come. The company holds data information about the season ticket holders, the customer buying, official replica kit online, marketing and IT director believes the maintenance of data correctly in accordance with the data protection legislation. There can be data breach. Keep that in mind. And you may be asked about other options also. AI can come students. Okay. AT has a website and its own app that they have mentioned. The website is there. The own app is also there. The longest established social media platform. Now, students, uh, this is one important factor that everyone should be aware of. The AT Stadium was built 90 years ago. Now, students, in this case, there will be an investment appraisal in case if they are connecting a financial analysis on payback period, ARR, IRR. So I'll write down here payback. Then can I just mention here, students, ARR. Then we have the IRR. Okay, just keep that in mind, the NPV, because that can be tested for your evaluation skills. Whilst no other Division 1 play in the city of Freenia, please keep in mind. So we are dominating here. Three other Division 1 teams are based within 40 kilometers on AT Star. There can be a threat of new entrant. If a threat of new entrant comes, students, there will be a bifurcation of the crowd and it will affect the business attendance of uh, AT is division is uh, 96.5 because the size is very small a few small size and only one stadium so anyway the people may come though they have the factor advantage also the stadium has a limited car parking facility value chain issue is their students because these are the customer satisfying things there are traffic congestions in the local area on the match days and the street near the stadium becomes crowded and noisy when supporters make their way to the stadium, annoying local residents. Students are CSR, HR policies are there. The stadium has been served by frequent bus service. There are two train stations with regular train service within two kilometers of the stadium. Maintenance expenditure on the stadium has increased significantly over the last 10 years due to the use of the age and increasingly strict health and safety requirement. The stadium has refreshment outlets for which there are some long queues also. There are around 30 hospitality boxes uh, in, the in the place and AT has their sporting events and concert. AT operates small shops at the stadium and AT owns a land in the stadium. It's built on the adjacent to the stadium. This land has been leased to Freenia's city council training facilities 30 years ago at moved the training facilities to 14 kilometers away from its stadium the training facilities was upgraded five years and the results regarded as some of the best in kerala the first and the reserve team always train these facilities but under 18 teams sometimes have to use the other facilities nearby at hires so students, a training facility, they have a good advantage and that can come also for your idea. Commercial activities, number of commercial sponsors with no sponsor being regarded as sponsor. Their sponsorship agreements, cover of AT, advertising within the stadium, use of AT's brand players is not sold. So these are the areas which are underutilized at the moment. So just keep that in mind, the idea where we are standing. AT is an official replica kit, directly the supporters, official replica kits trademarked by AT guarantees. The club shops at AT are a limited number of clothing, the licenses are also given. So these are the weak areas that we can improve. And the website, the mission is to maintain its position as one of the leading clubs in Kailan, but I don't think now they are focusing on that. And the values are transparency. AT makes its objective clear and present an open balanced picture of the situation of honest about challenges it faces very vague safeguarding uh, protect welfare of young players and comic practices to protect them on what 
there can be drugs if i'm not mistaken so i'll just write down here drug issues can be there they mentioned protection if i'm not mistaken community at believes it's a vital part of community in freenia committed to ensuring and make positive impact to the community players conduct at expects its players to meet the highest standard commitment sportsmanship stakeholders at statements in the principal stakeholders based on principles of fairness honesty and high regards to the impact environment at its reduction of uh, footprint central part strategy development operational planning at will do almost to avoid adverse impact so e ir as their students integrated reporting these are just the direct information that is given now financial information selected summaries now again students last time they gave non financial information but here there are not much considering to the last time and uh, students assurance is not there so the revenues are uh, gradually increasing students uh, maybe the ticket prices are increasing inflation factor may be there because very 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 less capacity in the stadium demand may be high capacity may be lower revenue by type a segmentation is given segmental television is high at the moment match day and prize money so prize money is falling because of the rank if the rank increases prize money can go up if the prize money increases television can go up and students uh, retail revenue can go up and sponsorship can go up but the match day revenue only stadium needs to be refurbished because students uh, stadium is very much small at the moment so there needs to be a refurbishment and the ebicta do you see this ebicta students do you observe it is falling down if i'm not mistaken and then relevant earnings are also falling down you can effectively get that clarity here and students be very careful of the relegation they can get relegated from this if this trend continues so this will be some challenges you have to be focused on so i believe that uh, this is the full analysis if i'm not mistaken just make some notes make sure you are very much thorough with the areas look at the previous examiner's report don't write theory answers don't take the risk of matching areas and thinking because anything can come like last time and also focus on areas which are not relevant to the industry because that can come and make a huge differences corporate governance is sure so keep that in mind a risk is also sure so students thank you very much for your valuable time see you in the next analysis take care